Kenya has today abolished visa requirements for all global visitors beginning January 2024. President Ruto said foreigners visiting the country will now only need to obtain electronic travel authorization before travel. Here's Stephen Leto with more details. 60 years of Jamuhuri in the country was marked with nostalgia. At the Uhuru Gardens in Nairobi, the very spot where Kenya held its first Jamuhuri Day celebrations. Patriotic songs that rent the air paved the stage for President William Ruto to make an unprecedented step and announced that the government has forthwith abolished the visa requirement for all foreigners visiting Kenya. Great pleasure as president of this extraordinary country to make a historic announcement of the decision of the government of Kenya. Beginning January 2024, Kenya will be a visa-free country. President Ruto in his Jamhuri Day speech said the bold step to put Kenya in the category of visa-free countries was anchored on the pillar of opening doors for global opportunities and putting Kenya on a global investment map. It shall no longer be necessary for any person from any corner of the globe to carry the burden of applying for a visa to come to Kenya. To echo the call of the Turkana people to the world, Tobongu Lore, a simple message to humanity, welcome home. This is why the government of Kenya has abolished the requirement of visas for all visitors. Secure the country from external threats like terrorism, President William Ruto says his government has laid down elaborate measures and protocols to deter criminal activities and individuals from sneaking into the country. To implement this new policy, we have developed a digital platform to ensure that all travelers to Kenya are identified in advance on an electronic platform. Consequently, all travelers will obtain electronic travel authorization as they come to Kenya. Even as the country opened its borders to visitors, the head of state assured Kenyans that the country will, however, safeguard its territorial integrity. Our national security apparatus have remained strong, a strong shield against terrorism, crime and insecurity. As we continue to invest resources into the security sector, we continue to expect continuous improvement in its overall capacity to keep our nation's boundaries inviolable. Kenya becomes the second country in Africa to open its borders after Paul Kagame of Rwanda announced a visa-free travel for all Africans to Kigali in November this year. President William Ruto's historic move to have Kenya a free visa could be an economic changer in the country, with more visitors now expected to visit the country. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV, Nairobi.